you know how I do everything. I, I want to make it an ecosystem. You just got to find it. So hot. He's like, I'm chilling. Come oh. over here and say Got it. strawberries out, and these pigs just go nuts. You're all muddy. Hey, Baloo, what are you doing? What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. Today, I just got back from this long vacation. I was in Chicago, then I went to Canada. As you know, you saw some of the videos. And as I was gone, my mom said just about two days ago that one of the turtles back here, my Malaysian box turtles, laid another egg, which has been in there for about a day and a half, two days now. And we're going to bring it over to Kenan's house. You just got to find it. This looks like somewhere that it would... And you know how many eggs these turtles probably had? What's going on with my phone? The pigs are drinking and sitting in the waterfall. <laughs> oh gosh. There's one of the females right there hiding under all these bushes that are providing shade. But I was digging through and I found the egg. And it's not an egg anymore. It's a eaten egg. So it got eaten probably by a bufo toad. Which is exactly why... I try to keep as many as I can out of my own backyard. At my new house, there's thousands of them. These are an invasive toad that lives here in Florida. They look like this. A bufo toad is absolutely disgusting, by the way. They actually will kill any animal. Pigs, dogs. Dogs have been killed in the past by them. They're very, very bad. Um, and that's what I'm guessing ate it because there's a little hole. And I was like, okay, dig it gone. But you know what? I haven't been to Kenan's in a solid minute. And you know what? I had plans to go to his house. So we might as well take up those plans and head over to camp. What's up? Kenan. What's up, dude? It has been a while. It has, dude. You're jet setting, man. I am. All you're, I've been you're doing is You're big time in me. Big time in me. All I've been doing is traveling. What's up, man? Good to see you, bud. Nice to see you. And holy yeah. moly, look at this. It's amazing, man. Everything's just like dream come true stuff Look at this. Here. What do you got growing right there? I know. It's been that long. I'm like <laughs> father time. I'm like an old Rip Van Winkle, dude. Dude, yeah. this is nuts. Yeah. It's... I think last time I was here, it was not nearly this clear. No. And I also had the algae bloom. And what people don't realize is these ponds, they go through a cycle, Yeah, man. mine's going through one right so now. So it went through a cycle. And uh, once we got everything sorted out, Bam. I mean, it's blazing hot, man. It's like 100 degrees. It's 105, today. I think. Yeah, it's, it's insane. So like, what's cool is though, the water's staying clear. And I mean, I did a video where I went in and I swam with these cichlids and it's just insane. The fact that I can hang out in my backyard and, and go swim fish. with cichlids, man. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just mental. So I really love it. And the really cool thing, Paul, is that all these fish in here, and, and the fish you gave Yeah, me, I was gonna say, a lot of my cichlids are in here. Yeah. Wait till a couple of years from now, oh. when they grow up, there's gonna be just thousands. Well, and you see this fish right there? That long slender yep. fish? That's a uh, Malawi eye-biter, and that's kind of like the big dog of the pond. Like, I have a few really? of them in there. They regulate. They're um, they're an open water cichlid, and they're just, they're charging on fish. They probably man. destroy the babies. They're, well, <laughs> I need them to. You know how I do everything. I, I want to make it an ecosystem, and then I don't, I want it to kind of flourish on some. But even all these plants are growing up. It's going to say, look at this. It's insane. This is man. nuts. I forget, you know, like I hadn't planted in a long time. And now the summer's here, the rains come back, just things are. How long has it been since we built this? It's I can't... February. Dude, it's I haven't been here in like three months. Is that that long? I God, think so. Dude, well, you got your own. It has been a very long time. Now. Dude, in the shade, it's in the 105. Shade, it's 105. It's you guys don't want to be here. Yeah, out here it's probably what 110. It's, but luckily the pond is deep. Yeah, so down so, there it's much cooler. Right, and the fish don't seem to be in distress, which is nice. Not and, at all. It's, I mean, it's a cichlid. Yeah, they they like their tropical fish, but even still, there are parameters. Uh, it's about 93 degrees in the pond, dude. So, so <laughs> at the surface, at the surface. At I'm the sure. surface. That's down. right at the surface. No, even even shade. two feet down, it's probably 80 something. Right, and then there's shade as well. One day we'll get this pond uh, cleared up. Imagine. That's one of the goals. Oh, no, that's one of the goals. I love the island. Cleared. Yep. And all the cypress. There's a lot going on over here, dude. We got plans. We just got to uh, keep slinging videos. Slinky's so hot that he's hanging out. In the water. It's, yeah, it's funny. The water comes on every single day and filters out this whole thing. And yep. By the afternoon. It's oh, yeah, dirty. of course. Yeah. But, uh, hey, come here, buddy. No, no one wants to move in this No, heat, it man. is literally so hot. He's like, I'm chilling. Come oh. over here and say hello to everyone. I love this lizard, man. This is my boy. So, uh, I just figured I'd show everybody how everyone's Look at doing, that, man. Thing. That is a dinosaur. Yeah, he's amazing. Super smart animals monitor lizards, man. This is an Asian water monitor, but... The monitors in general are really, really smart lizards. Almost, there are scientists that actually study Argus monitors and they believe they have very mammalian um, kind of traits 
you know they're very very intelligent uh so that's uh that's something to be considered when you know if you guys approach ever approach one like, like this that's right they're inquisitive they're curious he knows the difference between my my hand and food even when he's in like feed mode he knows what the rat is and what my hand is um but yeah and Let's go over What here. are these two ones' names again? That's Guapo and Lola. Guapo and Lola. On my I gotta, Instagram, gotta check I just out posted these. some pretty rad shots of Lola. Uh, just her eye and here she is. That's her tail. There's Guapo. These are Cuban what up, rock Guapo? iguanas. The Cuban Guapo. rock iguanas. He's a good man. He'll come over and say hello to you. Hey. So these guys are, you know, they're originally from Cuba. Their species are from Cuba. And I don't know if I've mentioned it to you guys, but they're called Cyclura iguanas. Let's get this girl out. Come here. Their tails are sticking yeah, out. Yeah, just... These guys are pretty tough though, just because these are herbivores doesn't mean they don't have a really powerful jaw and you can see all the meat in there, um, the jowls and they've got very meaty heads. That's all muscle and fat and they, they can really clamp down hard if they have to. But you can see how amazing they are. You can just chill with them. That's my girl Lola. She's fat. How long have you had that? Uh, Lola since mm -hmm. August. Lola and Guapo since August of 2004, the year I wow. moved to Florida. Holy moly. So, so these guys will live about 15 um, years. 40 years in captivity. So 40, 50 years is not uncommon. But this is a, a blue iguana, a Luisi. It's very similar to the um, similar to the Cubans, but he's just in the temporary enclosure right now. Um, and that's just yeah, a, a, an iguana from the Cayman Islands. <laughs> that's how they talk, man. He's like, yo, what up, Kafaros? <laughs> That's what he's saying, everybody. But yeah, man, it's, so it's a good time. And uh, it's hot. And I think, why don't we do this, buddy? I, I'm not the boss of your channel, but yeah. let's get the hell out of here, dude. It's I'm a hundred, I, I agree. Right, I agree. Right. If you guys do want to see some more of every one of these enclosures, I mean, how much are you on almost three acres here? I'm on two and a half acres and we're always doing builds and we're doing, uh, basically my channel is all about teaching people how to care for reptiles. What's your head oh, there, Paul? Yep, yep. I was trying to help you out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you guys want to learn more about reptiles, man, head on over to Camp Kennan. I will have it linked in the description. There's so much more here to see, and he's got a ton of videos on his channel if you haven't checked it over out already. Over 600 videos Over now. 600. I've got like 300 something, so he's definitely beating me there. Check it out. Link is in the description, and uh, I'm just going to pick up this camera wherever I end off right here. Later. I've got two pieces of boneless and skinless floppia right here. Oh, Thump just got that one. Thump already ate today, so he's not that aggressive. There's Champ up in there too. So we got Champ, like a little two pound bass. Thump, the monster, like 10 plus pounder. And then the Gar and our few medicines. Here, why do you want this tilapia so bad, huh? He wants it so bad. Look at these things. They're nuts. <laughs> They're nuts. They are huge. And one of our white ones? Super bad news, but when I was gone, Zoe, my German Shepherd, the baby puppy German Shepherd, my brother let the dog out. So Zoe killed one of the chickens. I would never think that's the way a chicken would go. Usually it's like a coyote. My neighbor loses like 20 a night. But unfortunately, one of the white chickens Zoe got to. So my brother, while I'm gone, next time we'll have to make sure that Zoe is inside when the chickens are roaming. Other than that, we still got all these chickens and we're gonna get much more. Uh, they're just free roamers, they roam the yard and uh, typically, like I said, a coyote gets to them, but in this case, it was a baby puppy German Shepherd. But these guys are all just chilling and I'm gonna fill that whole entire food bowl up and then fill this with water. Food, water, and all fresh sheddings. Here we go. Oh, not you again. Hey, chicken eater, what's up? You uh, killed one of my chickens. Not cool at all. <laughs> Not cool at all, Zoe. Got strawberries out, and these pigs just go nuts for strawberries. Just look at this. They'll take down full strawberries. She's got one. Come here, Bubba. Bubba, the lens is fogging. Hurry up, eat. There you go, buddy. But what these strawberries are really for is our Malaysian box turtles. I gotta find them, because they're always hiding. Who knows where they are. Here you go. Found one, came right up to me. As you can see, she was in the water a little bit ago. Come on, get a good bite. There we go. These turtles absolutely love strawberries. There it is, wow, there needs to be a weeding back here really bad. I have to hold it a lot of times, which gives it like structure so it's not rolling around and they can actually get good bites. All right, buddy, I'll leave you to it. So the turtles had an egg and unfortunately it got eaten. That's really nothing much you could do. There's gonna be many more laid in this pond area back here. I'm sure there's been a lot already. 
Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Suzanne. That was a wonderful video. And that comment was in reference, commented below on one of my recent videos that I posted. It was surprising Owen, the kid who lived in Canada. We surprised him with a backyard pond just like that right there. And uh, the feedback on that video was amazing. So I appreciate it guys. Thank you always. If you do like all my videos, I really appreciate that. All my little piglets are in my parents' backyard right now as I am on vacation. Not really vacation, I mean I'm still filming, but I'll be in the Bahamas. It's been pretty nuts. Been pretty, pretty nuts. But after this trip, I'm gonna be chilling at home, working on some things at the house, just like the big turtle palm we bought recently. That's the thumbnail for the video. If you haven't checked it out, I suggest doing that. Kind of got off topic there, but if you want to win a positive comment shout out, just like Susan just did, comment something positive down below in the comments, and you could be on the screen in one of these different videos. That's all it takes. 